Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot message for August going into September, darling, and see what's going to be happening for you. Now, Scorpio, in your first row today, we're going to be doing three. Your first row, we're going to be talking about some predictions that are going to be happening in your life should you continue down the path that you have been going down because you understand the future is never solid, of course, darling. Your second row today, Scorpio, we're going to be getting into what you need to hear today. This could be some spiritual guidance for some of you guys or just affirming something that you have already been feeling in intuitively and then in the third row is my personal favorite scorpio this is where we get into the brutal truths darling all right this is not for the sensitive this is going to be for those who are wanting to hear about an action plan what you need to be doing next it's all great and fabulous to receive these tarot readings on youtube darling and hear all this good stuff but where, where where's the blueprint what do we need to do to claim that abundance all right so let's get into this here for you scorpio be sure to, if you enjoy this video let me know in the comments below and give this video a like and subscribe three of wands coming in for you all right i like this energy a lot be paying attention to signs this week scorpio all right so this will be a time of where you might feel like you're going through like a spiritual psychosis darling because you keep on seeing like the same repetitive sign all right scorpio you might be receiving a sign of like seeing like the same numbers repetitive numbers of a specific type to you for others of you scorpios you're going to be seeing signs of like where spirit is leaving direction trying to guide you of what to be doing next all right so that could be coming in the shape of where you know maybe the podcasting keeps on popping up in all facets of your life and so you're like hmm maybe i should do a podcast or you know something's like everything keeps popping up in your algorithm for just you know going on a vacation cruise what have you all right three of wands is here letting you know scorpio that their spirit is leaving you signs that they would like you to be following all right so keep this in mind here scorpio this is going to be influencing all three of these rows this week but let's get into your predictions firstly here you have the star, the empress, as well as the queen of pentacles here really fabulous for you uh scorpio i see stress fading away here all right when i see this empress energy scorpio this lets me know that y'all have been building a lot of character recently all right you have been going through the trials and tribulations you've been putting in a lot of uh prep work to really tap into your greatness here all right scorpio the reason why i say your greatness here is because the queen of pentacles as well as the star card in the coming days for you guys scorpio i see you guys really solidifying uh, an opportunity Scorpio that's going to set you up for your future here so again maybe those signs coming in for about starting like a podcast for example Scorpio all right maybe that's what it is that you uh, need to lean into because that's where the miracles are gonna be going to be happening I don't know why I was stuttering there the star energy by definition represents like a wish being granted for you Scorpio so that's why I'm explaining this here and that Queen of Pentacles is that sense of where you're being taken care of i always associate the queen of pentacles as like cleopatra i don't know why it just always gives me like uh very much so like pharaoh uh energy personally all right so that's the first thing i'm just noticing here scorpio is that for those that take forward action towards uh investing in uh this new uh idea that you have going on here i see just a lot of abundance coming in associated with that all right what i see for many of you scorpios as well is that i'm being shown like battle scars all right scorpio so it's like uh you've got like one it lets me know like uh of the trials that you've been going through but also there's like this sense of like because i feel like there's this acknowledgement of the battle scars some of you scorpios need to uh take a moment and just pat yourself on the back for just like how you managed to get to this point now all right i do see this sense because i'm hearing completion as well scorpio of where it's just like the part of like the part of yourself of where you always had to fight or the part that gave you all those scars in the first place Place of like a certain period right i feel like you have like a depressing period at some point right and so i feel like that's coming to an end here for you i feel like you're going to be going to like the next level even afterwards you have the nine of wands that wounded warrior coming in here uh scorpio so really standing strong in your truth standing strong in your conviction you're going to be seeing the other side of this scorpio so keep your head up currently all right, this is not all for nothing here. All right, so your turn is about to be coming here, Scorpio, for um, having good things to be happening here. All right, I get this sense here, Scorpio, of again, because I'm being shown like the battle scars of where it's just like really symbolizing to me where it's like, a good portion of your journey for probably even like the past like two or three years scorpio has been like a time of where you've been building a lot of character as that empress 
all right you know the empress is always the one that's so in tune with the universe all right you guys are the ones that are very receptive scorpio of like your spiritual path and realizing that your spiritual path isn't just meant for like happiness and good times here right i feel like your spiritual path for the past like three years a lot of y'all's lesson to get you closer to what it is that you desire has come into the shape of like showing your own potential and putting you through the ringer scorpio because that's the only way that you would have been able to see or access your true power i don't know i know that sounds really corny scorpio but i do get this sense of like of importance to acknowledge just the struggle that you've been going through here because it's there's some type of relevance here like not relevant that it's going to be controlling your life anymore i feel like for a while now scorpio you've already like managed the wounds or you've been in this place of like healing and uh you know just standing strong in that conviction there but i do just get like this sense here of where it's just like it's about to pay off big time I don't know. I can't really describe this feeling that I'm getting, but it's pretty surreal. Anyway, Scorpio, let's get into what you need to hear today. You have the Knight of Wands, the Three of Cups, as well as the Ace of Pentacles coming in here. All right. Couple things here, Scorpio. Be paying attention to your friend groups as well, social, uh, your social group. I see more than just you winning here, all right. But I also see this opportunity here with the Knight of Cups, uh, the Knight of not the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands here with the Three of Cups. You might be having some type of fire sign coming into your life here, all right. Or there is going to be a new connection coming in here, uh, Scorpio. For whatever, like, like I'm not here to put like any type of meaning to that relationship, all right. With it could be romantic could be platonic darling it's not my business but i do see some type of new connection coming in here but it brings forth uh scorpio like the similarity with you here so there could be someone that feels extremely nostalgic to you you might call them like a soulmate or someone in your soul tribe they might share a similar passion to you here but overall i like this energy of like socially coming towards you now when it's just about you here scorpio all right what you need to hear is the sense of where you need to continue moving forward all right the three of cups talks about victory all right the ace of pentacles is like what it is that these three people are celebrating essentially right the ace of pentacles is like described as like the cornucopia having that abundance having like some type of accomplishment that you're celebrating over here all right with the knight of wands this is like a push for you scorpio to be taking very i don't it's not the word that i'm thinking of but it's like affirmative action i know that doesn't really make sense scorpio it's like taking like some type of firm action uh in regards to some things like you have a choice like a split second decision on doing something but i feel like it's through you uh, having being very assertive with your choices decisive uh scorpio that really sets you up successfully here all right it's like this sense yeah page of wands all right really at this time scorpio be leaning into like what type of projects that you could be picking up uh, whatever whatever type of side hustles do you have some type of opportunity like door presented in front of you in the coming days here scorpio and all you have to do is continue forward into this energy here and it pays off big time like what's behind door number one is the ace of pentacles all right judgment energy coming in here wow this is pretty divine here all right with this judgment card coming in here scorpio this leads me to believe that i always call it okay yeah <sighs> Oh, two of swords yeah this is how i've been seeing this here scorpio for you very spiritual so i really want to be celebrating my scorpios that like have a good relationship with their spiritual team maybe you've been working with certain deities or maybe you've just been manifesting honey minding your own business your spirituality is just you yourself regardless of the case here this does feel very spiritually influenced of what opportunities are about to be happening for you not only does it symbolize like the the creation process from this but it represents like how much work you've put into this as well here it's i don't know i get like this when i he when i see this type of dynamic i associate this with like a get out of jail free card here so scorpio some of you guys might be having an opportunity presenting itself to you in the coming days where you can drastically shift your life in a way perhaps getting like a job opportunity but you would have to move like to a different uh, side of town uh opening up to a new connection all right and that new connection then leads you to being able to like be roommates with them living in a different place i don't know i do associate some type of 
life changing, like life altering thing that happens that just kind of seemingly comes out of nowhere. Because again, I'm still considering with this three of wands here, where I see this as like omens being shown towards you. All right, Scorpio, you're really going to be having a solid opportunity that like changes your life here, I feel, should you continue leaning into that energy. All right. And because you have that three of cups, ace of pentacles blessing there with that energy, it's like very profitable. All right. So it's really hard for me to specify like what this would be, because it's going to be different for all of you Scorpios here. Obviously, full, uh, full moon in Aries cooling your emotions here. All right. <clears throat> Let's clarify that. Why do we have the cooling the emotions? What's this associated with? The chariot card. Okay. I get this now. Scorpio, you guys not have not received the movement when it comes to your career, when it comes to your social life, or when it comes just to your living situation in general. And that's where you've been a little bit fleety on or like frisky about being a little bit impatient about scorpio all right why you need to be cooling your emotions is because that opportunity is going to be happening so maybe there's a situation in your life right now scorpio that you've been feeling powerless in all right you don't know how to like make a change you don't know how to increase the momentum literally spirit's just telling you darling just to take a moment breathe because they have it handled because they're going to be opening that page of wands energy a new opportunity for you to drastically shift things all right so for some of you guys you've been living in a toxic environment work environments living environment all right and then an opportunity is going to be coming in so where you can uh, get out of that situation i know you feel antsy right now scorpio but take a moment and breathe you have two different cards coming in here spirit of the river and fallen angel movement towards adventure and spiritual narcolepsy here Ooh, darling <laughs> this is pretty major here let's talk about this uh movement towards adventure here all right initially this really just confirms this sense of just like traveling i get for you some of you scorpios like the, the, there's some facet of your life here uh scorpio that's going to be drastically shifting with some type of opportunity should you lean into it because i do feel like there is this requirement scorpio for you to lean into the energy it's not going to just come in as an opportunity being like oh scorpio you know just sign the paper right here and then you get to like move to a different country there's something it's like some type of energy that you start leaning into that then shapes up to be something that greatly changes your life because you leaned into it and gave it a little bit more energy all right you have a spiritual narcolepsy coming in here as well uh, scorpio i'm really not going to be making too much of a point to unpack this publicly because when it comes to spiritual conversations i feel like that's a very personal thing it's never my business to tell people or talk about you know how someone should feel or believe in anything and anything but i do get like this sense here uh scorpio of just being careful about who you give your energy to all right i don't usually go into like the whole fear-based thing of like oh psychic vampires da, 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 like grow by i do feel like it would be important for you guys to cleanse your space and then just be a little bit more protective of uh your own spiritual energy i'm not saying that there's any type of curse or what have you but i do feel like there is this necessity of um <sighs> having your energy be fully your own again all right so we'll leave it like that scorpio but let's continue on with the brutal truth for you today all right so we talk about this fabulous what do you need to be doing next scorpio to claim all this fabulous let's get into this brutal truth magician seven and two of pentacles coming in here the first thing that you need to accept here scorpio is that you are in a lot more control of your situation than what you realize all right right now i feel like you guys are feeling a little bit overwhelmed all right trying to manage so much at once all right it's like you have a lot of different seeds planted in your life but nothing has really come Come into fruition quite yet and it feels like you're banking on those things to come into fruition before the rest of your life starts all right for some of you scorpios this could be like literally about your physical health where you're just like oh i need to like work for work out eat right take care of my mental health like all these moving parts so then you can continue on with like your aspirations or your objectives scorpio right the reality is it's like this is going you're going to be in a juggling game for quite a while scorpio i'm not going to be sugarcoating it but the thing is here i feel like especially with this magician energy and what i was getting beforehand with that spiritual narcolepsy i feel like you guys could utilize some type of spiritual energy more uh to help you along in this process here scorpio even if it's like this sense of where you're trying to find the energy in the day to do what you you know to have uh come home from work and uh, go into your side hustle right or just having the energy to get up in the morning and have your daily routine of working out or what have you i feel like if you were to incorporate more spiritual aspects right whether that's 
you know, asking like your spiritual team, spirit guides, crystals, like whatever the case, that's your business, darling. But I feel like you like you need to get comfortable with the idea of juggling a lot and investing in quite a few things, Scorpio. All right. I don't know. It's not, it's kind of the sense here, Scorpio, where it's like, I feel like you could master so much if you were to really, really utilize all of your resources that you have in front of you. But for some reason, I feel like there's like this uh, resistance towards wanting to do that, towards really being this magician and being like, you know what, let me get into my spiritual hygiene, darling. Let me do my cl daily cleansings. Let me do my daily affirmations, darling. Right. Those are the type of things that, you know, are very corny. Right. And I know like in pop culture nowadays it's just very corny like they present so many spiritual routines as something very corny or just an aesthetic but i feel like you guys regain a lot of value scorpio with incorporating some type of daily spiritual routine to help you good uh accomplish your goals don't just focus on the manifesting aspect you know focus on the uh, spiritual aspect of like setting up this proper spiritual uh crystal grid to give you the energy to create successful pieces of content or to be able to whatever your story is scorpio all right think bigger picture than just thinking about manifesting all right so i love you so much scorpio hopefully this weekly tarot reading resonated with you if it did let me know in the comments below that's how i keep up with y'all as well as give this video a like and subscribe it's completely free to do darling until next time scorpio i love you so much bye